Oh, right now? <laughs> yeah, right now. I hit the start streaming button. I think that's all you have to do. Yeah, that's all you have to do. Cool. <laughs> hey. Ah, it, it, it accomplishes a thing. Hello, everyone. All of our zero viewers. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Hello. It's not all I'm worth to you is zero viewers. Fine. Oh, come on. <laughs> Come now. You. You're not a joke to me. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> hi, <laughs> hi everyone. This is session zero of the One Piece campaign. Woo! And these are our players. You want to introduce yourselves, guys? Sure, I can. I can do that. Hi, I'm Pete. Um, I am going to be playing in this One Piece campaign. I'm really excited to play in a game with Fox, and I'm. I mean, also Alex and Dart, I don't know you very well, but I'm sure I'm also excited to play with you. Uh, but also, I'm just really excited to play in the One Piece world, because I've spent, like, an infinite amount of time watching One Piece. As in, like, just watching the series once is spending an infinite amount of time watching it, so. Uh, yeah, that's that's true. That's a true fact right there. Still being produced today, so I would say so. And I'm only on, like, episode 400-something. Yeah. <laughs> God, uh, yeah. you're still in Sava Odi, aren't you? Yes, yes, I am. He's still in oh, Sava Odi. It's a great arc. It's a great arc. It I is. Alex. I will also be playing in this campaign. I've been looking forward to playing against Pete forever. Uh, and also Dark, because he doesn't get to play enough. So it's about time he gets to play in a game, especially one that is one piece, which he's familiar with. That might. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dar. I'll be also be playing in this game. I'm used to uh, GMing One Piece, of course. Um, yeah, I'll be looking forward to actually get to play the game. Yeah, he actually <laughs> he actually DMs for me in a different game, <laughs> so that's that's always fun. And me also, in yeah. that campaign, mm -hmm. she's the captain. Ah, uh -huh, I'm the captain now, but I shall be your captain of this You're campaign. You are even more the captain now. Yeah. <laughs> You're like the captain's captain? Okay, I, I'm the captain. world government now. <laughs> Fear me. Oh, shit, we gotta take her down. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. You're, you're our log post. Oh, apparently. Alright, so... Uh, first off, can you guys, like, tell me if the stream's coming through okay? Like, you can sure. hear everything? I can, I can do this. Um, yeah, I feel like it's going through just fine. Uh, you can hear, like, us talking? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Yep. All right, cool. That's that's something that's important to check occasionally. <laughs> Indeed. Well, give me a second. Um, what? Quiet for a moment so I can see yeah, just. Us. We're very quiet. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to turn you up then, or turn myself down. There you go. It's deaf and Discord. It sounds very quiet. The stream. Okay. Um, how do I crank up the beats? I didn't do anything! Uh, maybe Dart was always cranked up? Maybe we're just quiet, Alex, is a possibility? Maybe. Uh, you can turn us up on... If you turn us up... Uh, how are you doing audio, Fox? Are you doing like a... Uh, are you just doing straight through broadcasting whatever your desktop audio is? Uh, I'm doing audio output capture and audio input capture from headphones. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Cool. Um, how, how do I sound now? I am. I get calm. Hello. Um. Oh wait, that's myself. because I've muted you. That would be why. <laughs> All right, you are no longer muted. Hello, testing one two one two. Oh man, you're the loudest Hello. one of all. Oh my god, I'm loud. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, I think I can hear everyone pretty well now, though. Uh, actually, I haven't heard Dart yet. Dart. See, I'm gonna crank you up, Dart. Yeah, that sounds a lot better uh, over here. Let's see, can you hear me? Does I sound okay? All right, yeah. yeah um, you good. sound okay. You just sound. You're getting this kind of weird echo effect. I think he's okay. That's his usual, usual. Oh, okay. Usual deal. Uh, oh, do I just have a really bad mic? That's a possibility. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, everyone, right. everyone's good. One moment, let me. I mean. Uh, you're muted. <laughs> I didn't mute you. you oh, muted. am I muted? What? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm still very loud, so maybe actually turn me down and set them up. I did. Okay. Okay, testing. Better? A little more down. A little more down? A little more down. Okay. Uh, how about that? Okay, let's see. You need to turn you your turn sensitivity up to more. I can My see. sensitivity is up. <laughs> up or down. <laughs> up. I don't want to be able to way... hear myself. Well, look, it's, that's going to be a difficult thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, well, we can try to mitigate that as best we can. Um, so, I thought I'd put on a little music for us. Oh, I'm, I assume this is going to be mood music related to one. Number two, there's uh, no limit on the amount of devil fruit feats that can, you can take. Essentially, that's it, a pretty big one. Yeah, but um, like for your level, you get a feat. You can't get like all your feats at once. You have to earn the feats. But there's no limit. I think there was a limit, right, Dart? Yeah, there's a limit in like uh, base rule for some reason. Yeah. So just getting rid of the limit so you don't have to worry about that uh, is there still like the you can't take like for example you can't take more than one per level or something like that or you uh, can't take more than half your level or is that we're just with uh, uh... Alex mute <laughs> with a 3.0 rules so I think it's 3.0 yeah uh, where you get like two feats every other level now I think and one and feet one... per level per level so um yeah it's uh basically you can take as many devil fruit uh feats both, as you both, want both as long as you have the feet slots yeah both okay cool feats so for a level up can be love devil fruit if you want them it to would be. it would be kind of lame to do that but you could kind of basically just only ever take devil fruit feats if you wanted in theory in i theory. mean it just lets you build a character around a devil fruit doesn't it yeah like like in yeah. base things that pretty much can't be done because it like limits you quite heavily to like about 
half I, I can't remember what it, exactly the limit was but basically it stopped you from building a character specifically around your fruit yeah. okay and which now, is now, dumb in my opinion and now you can. which yeah. is what i wanted to do too so that's great Yep. I'll be building half my character off of uh, my fruit. The other half also off of the fact that he's a sword craftsman yeah. sort of thing. Right. Okay, so you both have devil fruits. Good to know. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah. We'll get into that a little later. But um, third house roll attacks that roll a critical or deal over twenty damage in a single hit. You know, subject to change. Apparently, uh, it just kind of blasts the target back, like. Team Rockets blasting away type deal. It's it's a big heavy um, blow, so it should be able to blast some people away, depending on their size. Um, and... Really good for knocking people into rubble and creating circular dents in stone. Yes. Exactly. Also making people shape dents in buildings. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Classic. Uh, but it, I believe that it's based on the same rule. Um, you get they get knocked back the same distance in feet as your damage. That's, that sounds fine. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's... I love, I love this number four here. Yeah. Yep. Number four is plot heal. Once per session, a team may, may heal one conscious character for half their max HP. It's essentially so things don't get too dire when it's supposed to be fun. It's One Piece. We're going to try to keep the spirit of One Piece and the rule of cool and all that. So. Excellent. That's because there have been some things that don't make any sense whatsoever that Dart has let us do just because it's cool. Yeah. Like jumping on water drop. <laughs> well, that didn't happen. It tried to happen. It almost happened. He was going to let it happen if uh, if uh, Doom succeeded. He should have rolled higher. Yeah, he should have rolled higher. <laughs> the name of the game right there. And then, um, this has to do with action economy. Essentially, Devil Fruit stances, hockey stances, and other stances are considered separate and can be used simultaneously. In, uh, base rules, I believe that only one stance could be active at a time, which meant you had hockey, or you had a Devil Fruit thing going on, or you had whatever else you had going on. But this yeah, is... Yeah, I thought that was kind of whack when I was originally reading it. And I think they changed some of the hockey feats in 3. Yeah, they did. They did. To, like, make it so that they didn't overlap. But I still think that's a really cool yeah. feature as well. So, basically, you can use an overlap, all that stuff. And those are the house rules. Um, there may be more I... added, potentially, later, but we'll see. I should ask this now, because this is something that was brought up with Dart uh, recently. Um, there's a feat... That allows you to move away from attackers uh, 10 feet without provoking opportunity attacks. But since we have, and it's also required for a um, uh, prestige class or career or something like that. But because we have this no opportunity attacks moving away, uh, what he did was essentially you don't take opportunity attacks even if you move your full move. Uh, is that something that you're going to intend to use? Or um, do you just kind of want to add 10 feet on top of what they could I mean in the up interest, to their max in the interest of like, like making a feat worth it because I know, I know I've read I've through read a lot of these feats and a lot of them are pretty powerful, powerful. So, some of them are not powerful yeah. enough yeah well that's up to discretion <laughs> but yeah, yeah you could move your full move you can't run, yeah, run. but you can move but, your full no, move no obviously not but uh because that would def kind of defeat the purpose anyway of moving away in combat, unless you are taking the full action to run, in which case you'd probably get an opportunity to attack anyway. So um, maybe worth noting. I, I think you guys already know this, but Dart may not. Uh, I have never played One Piece D twenty before, so I'm a rank beginner. So I'll be relying on all of you to catch me up. I have a lot of experience in like other role-playing games. I play a lot of 5e and stuff, but I have not played this particular one, so I'll be playing well, as we get going. Well, rest assured that this system is absolutely awful, but it's still fun. Yeah. yeah that was kind of, honestly, that was kind of the vibe Terribly balanced, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, one Piece's world is terribly balanced, so it makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's we'll, fair. We'll definitely help you through it. Honestly. So, it, just have fun. If something sounds uh, cool, it, there, the odds are that I'll let you do it. 
song to she It's another it's another great track by the way, Fox. You picked up you picked up two of the best ones here off the bat. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh so without further ado, I guess I shall hand you all your character sheets. How wonderful. Uh mm. Oh, you Breathe life to our characters. All right, Alex, uh, I'll be I'll be playing apparently Gab Driagi. <laughs> Wait, no, that's Alex. <laughs> this one's just. I will be playing Gab Driagi. Oh. What? Ah, oh, uh, I'll be playing Poivuo Zaulai. Zauloi, <laughs> Zauloi. Oh goodness. And dark. All right. Uh, Apparently, I'll be playing Rihu Ugona. Oh. That's actually a pretty good one. Very lovely name. Yeah, I could live with that name. <laughs> it's, better than, it's better than Poivuo Zauloi. Yeah, at, le at least I can pronounce Rihu. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Ugona is, I think, a, even a legitimate last name. I kind of like that one. I'm going to change my first name now. I know that that's my first name. I have not decided on my full name. He's Gene Wilder. I might be. I might be this Gene. I don't know. But it's gonna be Gene. Gene Wilder. Willy Wonka extraordinaire. Uh, I'll be playing. Yeah, I'll be playing as Willy Wonka. Uh, no, that's already a character. Oh wait, I can't spoil. No spoilings. I gotta remember not to do any spoilies. <laughs> Oh. I should also remember to unmute myself. Oh, a good idea. Yeah, good times. You gotta get better at that now. We have a yeah, stream to run. <laughs> or I have a stream to run. You know, the differences. So, what are you guys actually planning on playing? Because I still so, don't know what I'm building. <laughs> okay. I'll be playing a swordsman chef. A dwarf swordsman chef. A tidy swordsman. Perfect. I'm, I'm playing a human pirate brawler. Oh, good times. I'm, I guess I'm playing Luffy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If Luffy was old. Um, nah, he's much different than Luffy, but... Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, um, while, while you guys are busily tip-tapping away, I suppose... Ow. Fuck <laughs> <Bought> myself. <laughs> I suppose we should learn more about the captain. Pete, you wanna... Oh, hi. Yeah, um, I'll talk a little bit about my character. I'm not tip-tapping away because I'm, I'm overwhelmed by all of the things in front of me, uh, and will take me a long time to actually write out everything because I'm very meticulous when I build a character sheet. Uh, so for now, I'll just tell you guys a little bit about what I'm planning on playing. Um, I'm playing a brawler, a uh, punch boy. Uh, in the context of OPD20, uh, the brawler is just basically you use your fists and punch, and hit and kick, uh, and just, I think it's, I guess, yeah, it's not just your, your fists. That's what I associate it with, because that's what I see Luffy do a lot, uh, and that's what class he would be uh, in OP D20. But, um, and so I'm playing also the pirate class, which is essentially what you play if you want to be the captain of the ship, which I, I'm going to be doing in this. Uh, and it gives you a lot of features that involve, like, intimidation or, like, you know, uh, persuasion with other pirates and just like your interactions with other pirate crews hiring thugs and people to like work for you and stuff like that uh and then i'm a human which makes me better at uh devil fruits uh and so i have uh rolled the devil fruit which uh fuck so we'll talk about like how devil fruits work in this because i think that's a really cool <laughs> um i think that's like one of the cooler features of of this whole system oh yeah for sure um Jeez, devil fruits. Basically, you roll and uh, you land on a category of Zoan, Paramecia, or Logia. And then from there, I kind of magic up some random fruit for you guys. And it's basically a concept. And you do with that concept what you will. And basically, you can make your own power however you see fit. You make your own feats with it. You make your own abilities. Within reason. And, cool. uh, and like kind of like some of the traditional ones, like for example in the show One Piece, there's characters that have stuff like the fire fire fruit, which makes you your body made out of flame and you can shoot flame and stuff. Uh, and it's always the same word twice. And, and I have the wither wither fruit, 
uh, which is going to allow me to wither things, which is a really kind of evil devil fruit power that I'm kind of here for. Uh, there's just something inherently kind of sinister about just sucking the life out of things. Um, and yeah, so I've kind of built my character around that, and the kind of core concept of my guy, I haven't like done a lot in developing his backstory because I wanted to obviously talk to you guys and learn more about your characters before I did that. Um, but basically, um, basically my character's kind of thing is at some point he ate this wither wither fruit. I assume there's like a story there that maybe we could develop together, Fox, or as a group. Yeah. Um, and uh, in eating it, like it's just like starts out as the worst devil fruit to eat. It, it just slowly withers your body away uh, and like just kind of sucks the life out of the things around you. So he basically like went into hiding for a really long time, not wanting to hurt anyone with this awful devil fruit that he got uh, and just kind of lived on a deserted island for like a long time. Uh, and I built into the feature like, cause you build the powers yourself. So I made his feature, uh, I called it uh, Kare Kare no Mi, uh, this would be the Japanese for it, which essentially translates to an abbreviated form. It would be like the with with fruit or the wither wither fruit. Um, and so basically it's like every week his like strength slowly goes down until he just dies. Uh, but then uh, he, he gains an ability that allows him to like absorb the energy of other things uh, to kind of bring it back up. So he's just in a constant state of kind of withering and then borrowing life from other stuff to kind of bring himself back up to full so the character's rough story is he spent a lot of time like sustaining his own life he's you know older than uh younger than he should be for the amount of time that he's been alive because he's like absorbed so much life um very lich like almost uh kind of definitely there's there's a lich element to him uh and then kind of if, the reason if people venturing... don't know what a lich is it's basically yes. an undead that sucks up souls to live forever mm -hmm. I was very succinctly put, Fox. That's good. Uh, and, um, yeah, so uh, he has, after all this time, basically learning how to use his power, finally learned how to not hurt other people with it uh, to, like, a, a lesser degree, and is now kind of, his goal is, his goal is grand ambition on the, as the pirate, is to find a way to get rid of this double fruit. Uh, and that's kind of roughly where my character's at. I have some other ideas for, like, his personality and stuff. I imagine there's also going to be some fun stuff involving, like, sometimes he's really old, sometimes he's, like, really young and vital. Um, and... Just yeah. depends how long you're stranded at sea. I mean... Yep, pretty much. Uh, it's, like, the <laughs> long... Like, I imagine every quote-unquote arc I begin as an old man and then slowly work my way back to being powerful. Like Possibly. Possibly. I mean... Dart had us going on a sea voyage for three weeks without food. It's a um, problem of food. <laughs> there it is. There were 20 people on our ship. We picked up some strag stragglers that game, but uh, yep, yeah, that's uh, Pete's character, Gene. Something. Something. Uh, I was <laughs> I was thinking about for a last name. Uh, I was looking at like famous pirates to kind of base it on. And there was one I liked named Paul's Grave Williams, uh, whose entire claim to fame as a pirate is that he started piracy at the age of 40, uh, just because he was kind of like, basically didn't want to just die of old age. Uh, and so I was thinking maybe Gene Williams or Gene Paul's Grave, something like that. Uh, that's that's good. Gene Graves would be a good one for like the wither theme. Yeah, that would be pretty good too. <laughs> So just to check and be sure, yep. uh, we are using the 3.0 document, right? Yeah, we're using 3.0 plus, you know, the, the feats that yep. have not been added yet to it yet. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Using 3.0. Um, there was something I wanted to tell you that I maybe forgot I was going to tell you. Ah! Things about the game, yes. Um, I was thinking we'd have this be a bi-weekly game. Uh, just so I have a chance to have a have a have a day to prep everything that I need to. Um, so you're thinking every other Thursday around this time? Mm -hmm. Is that, okay that sounds great her? to me. Yep. Okay. Sounds fine with me. Yep. All right. Cool. Um, that is uh, preferable. A weekly would have probably been a little bit tight for me. So. <laughs> well, good. Good. Glad it works out for everyone. Yeah. No, that's great. Yep. Uh, aside from that, questions about the game. Uh, essentially, we'll be sort of ramping up uh, in one of the blues. 
we'll have some blue adventures and then we'll head off to the grand line eventually uh, uh i do have do a question, have question for you guys do you guys want to play, play out your uh recruitment arcs or how did how did you want to do that i <clears throat> i would like to do that just uh you know how did i become part of the whatever pirates we are yeah you need to name your pirate crew by the way pete <laughs> Um, yeah, that's what, uh, that was a question I wanted to ask, um, just because I'm playing the captain, and I was kind of in thinking about that, like, this afternoon. There's something very inherently, like, selfish about playing the captain, where I make a lot of choices uh, for, like, the group and stuff like that. I didn't know if, like, how I've... much you guys want to make me I've... fill the captain role like Luffy would. Go ahead, Fox, sorry. Uh, well, in uh, Dart's game that we played, uh, we pretty much all agreed. I, I proposed a I proposed a pirate crew name, and everyone was like, hell yeah, let's do it. So, I mean, you can just propose things to them and see if they like it or not. Yeah, here's the thing. While, yes, you do have the, uh, uh, you have a majority of the major choices. Basically, your word is law. It's the final thing. If you say not to do something, we're pretty much obligated not to do it. But you also have the responsibility of taking care of your crew. Yeah. So it's not like you're just getting off scot-free. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. I mean, it's just like from a more meta perspective, I don't want to like take away fun that is should be like group fun by making I mean, you can like ask the group what they, what you think yeah. is yeah, yeah, that yeah. just make like the final decision. Yeah, okay. Like cool, cool. You are the last word, but you can like tell your group stuff. Um, I encourage yeah. you telling your crew stuff. Uh, I think that's also going to be part of the character as well, because this is someone who's, like, never... He doesn't, like... He's not a pirate. He didn't live his life expecting to be a pirate. This was just something that he's kind of been thrust upon him because he wants to sail the seas and figure out a way to, you know, achieve this one goal that he has, or this primary goal, at least. Um, mm -hmm. So he's going to be, like, you know, learning how to be a captain, I think, as he goes. Uh, so that'll yeah. probably be... It'll, something that'll probably also come up in character, I imagine, at some point. Um... Yeah. Well, speaking uh, of crew names, I guess you could decide one right now if you had any ideas. Um, I had uh, one idea that I would throw at you guys, uh, which was um, my character is going to carry a flower, which is kind of the symbol of um, uh, kind of the symbol of him figuring out how to use his powers, which was like just he carries a, some flower in his lapel that never wilts, um, and it's kind of like you know, one, this iconoclastic thing against the wither wither fruit, as, like, he has this one flower that never withers, uh, and just, like, you know, a, a show of, a sign of his conviction, kind of like a personal token, uh, and I thought that would make a cool Jolly Roger. I pictured, like, you know, the the skull over the flower uh, with, like, if it was, like, a lily, for example, the, the petals of the lily would make a great skull and crossbones kind of look. Um, I like so that. So something involving that would make a cool name. I also was thinking of Violet, because I thought the Violet Pirates was a really funny thing to say. We're Violet! Oh, they killed me! No, Violet! Not Violent! <laughs> that could lead to a lot of fun, uh, fun misunderstandings. Uh, I mean, I it would a, work for me. I'm a Violet Pirate. Um, so those are the two ideas I have, if those are things that sound cool to you guys. Violet's a type of flower, too. Yeah. It is. Um, and I would just change the flower depending on what. The lily I thought was aesthetically cool, and the violet, I just thought the name was funny. <laughs> hey, whatever works. Um, what do you guys want? Um, Let him know. No. Talk to your captain. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, I, I'm cool with the uh, the, the flower and it being a major part of it. Violet Pirates, I, I don't mind. Um, I feel like it's something that should portray the captain more than anything. Like, Straw Hat Pirates, obviously Luffy has his straw hat. Um, yes, in our, in our game, we're the Wolfing Pirates because uh, my um, character is Wolfing Wolfric, so... It's gonna, gonna kind, kind of be your epitaph. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's what I was thinking, because it's something that he, like, it's going to be a flower that he carries with him, like, on his person at all times. Uh, and it's, like, he, like I said, it was, like, the symbol of his resolve to go out and sail the seas. Um, 
I mean, it sounds like an interesting character idea, and certainly work for the crew. I think. All right. Um, all right. Yeah, well, we can um, we can think about it too. Like, I would also be open yeah, to yeah. suggestions on like if there's a flower that you think would make a cool name and symbol, then tell me, and I, I'm just flexible. It doesn't have to be any of those. Yeah. Um, um, you guys can yeah. discuss it yeah. in your little group chat yeah, later. later. There's no pressure no to pressure. make a decision now. Yeah, be before uh, I assume just before session one. I even like I imagine session one if we're doing recruitment, like we're not like the I, we're probably not like the violet pirates, for example, until. At least formed. one person is in the crew. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, quick question, Dart. Uh, what skill or what uh, attribute does cooking use? You cooking. would know this. Yes. Wisdom. I think it's wisdom. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Too. I'm a DM. <laughs> but he's got more experience with the D with the D twenty system, so that's why I asked him. I'm I'm a DM in a different game, Alex, you could ask me. Well, I mean, it's, again, it's cooking, it's 3.5, it's one piece, it's not even in the regular, uh, thing here, oh, so shit. I'm like, who knows the most about, uh, the, the roll 20 shame and shame one shame. piece thing? I so I'm I am naturally shame. shame! Oh, hi, so, yeah. welcome. Um... Are we going to be probably likely to be picking up like NPC characters as well? Oh, to, like, yeah, fill yeah, up sure, extra sure. spots. If, if you find, uh, if you find if an you find NPC, an... mute, please. <laughs> if you find an NPC that suits your fancy, um, then uh, I guess Pete or someone could ask them to join the crew, and they may or may not join you depending on the story. But yeah, you can Classic. definitely. You can Classic def Brooks situation. Yeah. Okay. You can definitely pick up characters if you uh, want to. Okay, good, good. So, what kind of career do you think, guys, I should pick? So I, I, I was kind of leaning towards Navigator, but I mean, we could also very much do with, like, a Doxer as well. Uh, or even a ship, right? Navigator sounds like an important early one, too, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, I mean, if you want to go for whatever, you, you do whatever you want. Um, Navigator is pretty important. For things like that, um, I would say, for for early game, but it's not necessarily something that you have to force yourself to play if you don't want. To. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I'm not really against playing anything. I'm pretty happy to play literally any of the roles, to be honest. I just like One Piece in general. I'm happy to play any of them. That's... Yeah, One Piece is fun no matter what you do. Um, so, did you guys want a fourth player, or were you happy with this group here? Um, my fine either way. I am also fine either way. I know that four tends to work just best together. Four people tend to work um work together pretty well. Uh, any yeah. more than that, it can get too long. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of with Alex on that. Like four, I wouldn't probably wouldn't want to do five, but I'm definitely down for four. Or but I'm also fine with three. Three is actually generally. Like, at least as a DM, three is my favorite group size. Sometimes four is nice as a player. I don't know. I mean, I personally like quite like bigger groups, like, as you probably know, considering the other game has, like, five players in it. Uh, but yeah. yeah, I'm happy with three or whatever, to be honest. Alright. Well, uh, I had someone in mind. They might be around and hop in the stream later if you guys are okay with it. Okay. Is it Doom? It's Doom. <laughs> it's Doom. Uh, for those who don't know, Doom is a is a fishman in the other One Piece game, and he's sort of the brawler, brute, uh, berserker type, barbarian type for D and D players. Another uh, another punch boy. Yeah, he was a punch boy. He might not be a punch boy in this one though. Hell, he might not even be a fish in this one. Who knows? It's true. Okay. There's a lot of races to pick from. Indeed. I think my character, I've decided, is going to be a human warrior navigator. That is what All I'm right. going with. Warrior's fun, not gonna lie. Yeah, I do like warrior. When I build NPCs for the other one, I tend to enjoy the warrior ones the most. Yeah, they are pretty brutal. Uh, warriors, uh, warrior is a class, essentially, that focuses on defense and offense, both. They're more... Sounds like the two best things. Well, they're not about big HP, generally, but they. Mm. Uh, brawlers are usually about all all the hit hitty stuff and all the aggressive stuff with big HP pools. 
Uh, warriors tend to focus on armor class and attacks. Brawlers are barbarians, warriors are fighters. Or monks would be a better analogy, I feel, but whatever. Eh. Monks don't necessarily have the largest health pools. Uh, big age people was definitely the thing that attracted me to Brawler for the character I want to play. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. But you can get uh, big age peoples for uh, warriors too, with like the blooded feet. Hmm. Uh, Blooded's on my list. Blooded is good. Is good. I guess I could talk about my character next if you would like. Yes, please. I, I All would right. like for sure. Alright, so, um. I have my character, who is a dwarf uh, murder chef, I mean swordsman, who is also a chef. Um, and he is very small. He's a, he's a dwarf, so he's 2'6". Still small. Very small. Um, but his name is Sunny Days. Sunny D? Sunny Days. Sunny uh, Days! Uh, yeah, so you're putting him Sunny D all game. He sounds like a delight. And this is him. This is Sunny Days. If you can enlarge that for the for everyone, that'd be wonderful. Okay. Hi. hi. Say hi. Definitely not Isun. What? Who who's this Isun? I don't know what you're talking about. I actually don't know what you're <laughs> talking about. Most people won't yeah. know what you're talking about. It's very Yay! Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's definitely not a character from a beloved uh, game. <laughs> Uh, I, that's amazing art. That's really cute. Yeah, it is really cute. But yep, that's his dwarf. dwarf. He, doesn't he doesn't even know, even what, know dwarfs what dwarfs are. are. <laughs> yeah, you haven't not, gotten there. Not, that's not, what I haven't even gotten there, but it's fine. Uh, uh, anyway, I he's... Put, I should put together, like, uh, <laughs> a, a watch list of episodes that involve dwarves with no spoilers about... Like, so with joke. no context whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, no context, <laughs> no context dwarf videos where they don't talk about what's going on in the world, they're just about being dwarves. So here's the thing about uh, Sunny. He is quick tempered. He gets angry quite quickly, especially if you insult his height. He's tall for for a dwarf. <laughs> um, he's also very into the ladies. He'll flirt with just about any lady he sees, especially if they've got, if they've got a big bosom. Um... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, remember, remember! We're not 18+. 18 plus. Plus. I know! I, I, I'll avoid anything that's overly, you know... Too bad. You're, you're the Sanji, Frankie, and Brooke of our group. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Weirdly large, weirdly large percentage. You're also... Oh, you're not mute anymore. I mean, definitely anymore. Hi. Uh, also, he uh, doesn't like responsibility. Uh, in fact, until ten to, to, to wait until the last moment to do something. <laughs> Unless it's something like super duper important that the captain orders him to do right away. Otherwise, you know, no food. <laughs> Um, I, uh, I like it. You have a, like, a, you had a radical devil fruit power too, Alex. Oh, yes. Um, so I've got the Oru Oru no Mi, Fold Fold, for those who don't speak, uh, Japanese. <laughs> so, so all, that's of all of us. Then. <laughs> so, so everyone, yeah. yeah. Everyone here. Uh, basically, I could fold things, which might not seem all that great at, at first, uh, but then you realize I can fold steel. I could fold anything that I could hold in my hand, or touch for that matter. Um, so I could make blades without a forge. Can you touch space? Can you Not fold yet. space? I can't fold space yet, but I'm hoping it's something cool. that, that, that uh, old magical DM eventually allows. You may get there eventually, yes. Can you fold paper? Yes. You have to awaken to I your powers first. I can make the best goddamn origami this side of anywhere. Uh, hi, Doom. What's so. up? This is a uh, this is Doom, everyone. Uh, hi, Ta, Brian, whatever. What do you want to be called? Uh, I'll be called Ta. It Ta. will be less confusing for the viewers. Right. Okay. This is Ta, everyone. He'll be our fourth player. Say hi. Hi, Ta. I hi. missed you, Ta. Hi, Ta. My name's Pete. I missed you all too. Hey, Pete. How's it going? Uh, pretty good. I'm excited to play some One Piece. That's kind of where I'm at. 
I heard your uh, character on the stream. It sounds really cool. I really like the uh, concept of the flower as a symbol of him trying to control himself. Oh, cool. Thank you. But yes, um, Ta, did you have any character ideas? We've heard I did the ideas from Sonny and Pete, or rather, Alex and Pete. Were you done, Alex? I mean, with the gist of it, anything else that anyone wants to know, they can ask me. Alright. Well, uh, Dart seems pretty undecided on what he wants to play. I mean, I've decided what I want to play. I'm just, like, looking through my massive folder of, like, One Piece characters to see what <laughs> original art I can make for a character. Oh, jeez. And, um, uh, so, Ta, we got a captain, we got a cook, and we got a navigator? That, that was yours, Dart? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so, Ta, what did you want to play? I think we have uh, a very human and one dwarf group. Uh, first of all, I want to be a Devil Fruit user, but we got to figure out <sighs> I'm gonna how to... I'm going to have to get you some swimming yeah. PCs. Uh, I don't have a name yet. I'm thinking of, like, Black Crow, but as a character, she is a Kuja. Kuja swordsman, musician. Sword bros! Yeah. Oh. Uh, she was part of a uh, part of a crew that ventured out into, you know, not the Grand Line, the Great Blue, but she's also uh, airheaded. So when her team finally came, uh, finally chose to leave the island they were at, that they were searching, searching on, she was left behind by her own, uh, error. Rude. Uh, also, get prepared to be flirted with a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I think she <laughs> might be fine with that, or she just or she just thinks you're overly friendly. Oh boy. Uh, uh, she uses the snake as a sword belt. I know that's uh, know that for a fact. And I think right. she also right. has more uh, she has more uh, she has adopted the uh, clothing around the uh, islands that she uh, was left on. So she doesn't openly look like a Kuja. But uh, just is from that culture and is kind of... Yeah. Like... Sounds really cool. I dig. Yeah, I dig too. So we're going to musician, cook, navigator, Can... captain. Can Ta roll a devil fruit because it's the most exciting thing in the? <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, it's, let's it's... let's do oh, this. Oh, great! Three devil let's... fruit users and the person who's gonna have to save them all. Yes, indeed. Ow! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> there was I threw something. By my character hates my character hates this dumb thing. That's why we're that's why we sail it. Gotta um, get rid of these devil fruits. Ta, you want to join the roll twenty so you can get your character sheet and you can actually roll, but where the people can see. Yeah, don't know. If... Do I have a link? Yeah, it's in the the something pirates channel. Okay. Oh, it won't be the something pirates for that much longer. <laughs> no, it won't be. But it is for now. But it still is, yeah. Something something pirate crew. Something something. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. Have you found it? Yeah, I'm popping in now. Okay, good. Uh, I am going to see if I can assign that sheet to you real quick. God. Try not to slap things around. Okay, I have signed you a sheet. So now you have a nice little sheet. And me, I'm just gonna flip all of your sheets to the cool graphic because I don't like the default one. <laughs> uh, character sheets can have like a scrolly type background. Like it's written on parchment. And I think that's cool. Not that uh, not that the, the stream people can see. Maybe I can bring it up. Uh, no. Can't do that. Well, that's fine. I also do want to mention one thing. While uh, Sunny is this tiny guy, he carries a full-sized sword. So, so he's got this tiny hat, tiny 
robes like a normal samurai, but then he's got this full-sized katana. Like he are you like actually he wearing, around with him. Are you actually wearing a kimono or whatever it's called? Yes. It's Japanese robe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes I am. The Zoro. It comes look. from a ver Yes, I am the Zoro of the uh <laughs> of the group, but apparently everything else as well. The pervert, the swordsman, the chef. He is, he is Zoro mixed with Con uh, Sanji. Oh god, he's like it's an unholy the love child of that. Oh. Yeah. oh god. Oh god, they hate each other though. You, you see, there's a lot of self Jokes there. on you, I hate myself. <laughs> exactly. Wow. This, this got interesting real fast. Are, are we ready to roll for the devil fruit? Oh, yeah. so, dr so dramatic. Best of luck. Oh, what do you want me to roll? Uh, D100, please. Uh, Fox, I have a question. Before he rolls, before you roll, I have a question about your list, and I'm curious. Did you make a list that was all ones that you thought were pretty good, or are there some decided duds and some decided, like, oh, this one's ridiculous if you get it? Oh, there's, um, there's, yeah, there's, there's a spectrum. I distinctly okay. have a slug fruit on here. Oh, jeez, <laughs> okay. Watch as that's the one I get. Just natural one. Alright, 25. Let's see. What did you... you got the sloth sloth fruit, I'm kidding. Sounds My actually baller as hell. I have the sloth sloth fruit in dark Is that a, is that a, um, a Logia Paramecia or Zoan? That is a Zoan. Zoan. The funny thing is, his name is actually a light, or his title is Lightning Kobe. And for like the front first in, he could not be touched. Yeah, and then it was balanced. What's your character's Tear. name again, Tal? Uh, I... I'm thinking Black Crow, yeah. Huh, that's an interesting coincidence. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> so... You might have the Raven Raven fruit. Holy uh, shit! That's neat. <laughs> that's... Damn, Damn that's uh... That's lucky. That's a really good one. You can now fly, can... Ta! Now I can mow net stab people. Oh, wait, what's that uh, character from Boku no Hero? That looks is just oh, a raven. Tokoyami. <laughs> Tokoyami. Yeah, Tokoyami. You're just Tokoyami. It's fine. Um. Yeah, I was always thinking, like, if I was, uh, uh, that was why I was like, I want to find out my devil fruit and then I'll build my class around it, basically. Um, but I was thinking if I got, like, a bird or something like that, being, like, a bird sniper would be pretty righteous where you can just fly up and get free vantage points. Just never get hit. Yeah. Aware. <laughs> Marines have guns. They have guns, but if they're, like, the the basic mob. They might not be able to hit you. Maybe. Hopefully. Just fly. Uh, yeah, I guess if we're just talking raw mechanics, you could technically like fly to the outside range of a sniper rifle and then like be almost completely untouchable. Almost. <laughs> almost. Always. There's always. I mean, if you can hit someone, there's always possibility. That so they the raven, raven, raven fruit. Yeah. That's. Congrats. Thank you. That's cool. Uh, Black Wolf. Uh, I think, wait, where is everyone at? This is a great question. Oh, yeah. Where is everyone at on One Piece? All right. I'll, I'll start with me. Uh, I am at the end, tail end of the Fishman Island arc. I decided, I decided to stop, to stop there, there and wait for, wait Alex. for Alex. I am close-ish, by close-ish, like half a year behind, apparently. <laughs> um, <laughs> at the sub Iodi arc. He's, uh, yeah, he's still, he's like towards the end of Saba Odi going into um, uh, the Kuja place. Who wants, who oh. wants to go now? Oh yeah, sure. I'm um, past the anime, a little bit into the manga. I have not completely up to date on the manga, but I'm in the, uh, the Wano Kingdom arc. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds fun. What about Utah? 
Or dart. Either one. Dart. Oh, we don't hear you anymore, dart. You might have to... I have... Dart, no. Ah, dart. Speak your truth. Oh, no, he left. He's back. He's back. And I still can't hear him. Can, can you guys hear him? No. Mm. There is no dart, only Zool. Only Zool, yes. Uh, only pain. Ta, where are you in the series? Uh, I'm up to the latest uh, chapter, but I pretty much skipped a lot of stuff. But I'm also aware of the major events. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we, we can. can. You're, back. You're back. So, I wonder how long I've been talking to myself. Um, All you also this sound time. Way better now, Probably. Too. Your mic's no longer doing that echoey thing. Hey. So, yeah, I'm completely caught up on the manga. I read it every week. Oh, my goodness. We got yeah. some people here. Got some I'm food. caught up on the manga, but I've pretty much skipped the whole front end of it. So, we only got to worry about spoiling for Alex. And, and I guess Fox. A little. Like usual. But, but like, if we think. I love you, Alex. <laughs> you love you too, uh, Tom. If we're not spoiling for Alex, then we're also not spoiling for Fox. Yep. Yep. I decided to wait up for him, but we still got like eight that's years just, worth of after time very, skip stuff to do. That's, that's, that's very kind. Um, so yeah, I had another question, Fox, which was how long do you um, how long do you expect the campaign to go for? Do you have like a um, I... do you have like a kind of a timeline in mind or like a level goal or something like that? Uh, really, the goal for you guys is whatever you set for yourselves. I'm content with going until like you achieve whatever you set out to do, or die trying. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, like, uh, if you had to, like, estimate what levels, like, you think that will reasonably... Like, what's what's your, like, leveling pace that you kind of have in mind for starters, uh, I guess? Well, uh, every island will be its own arc, essentially, unless it's, like, filler islands. It kind of works like in Dark's game, but I'll explain it to you. Um, every island will have its own arc, which will take, like, I don't know, anywhere from, like, three to six to eight sessions. And you'll level up after an island arc. So, as you jump from island to island, you'll get a level up. And, um, I think around level 10 is around when you start getting hockey and sort of get into the new world stuff. Yeah, level 10 is when you get hockey. Yeah, and that's... You can reasonably expect to be heading into the new world around eh, level 10-ish. Okay, so new world is about level 10. Yeah. Um, that, that makes sense. And... Um, Yep. Uh, pretty much it goes to level 20, and I think you can go beyond level 20. It just depends on you guys, really. I think the way the leveling system works is it's built to go past 20. So just... um, what's kind of your intended balance of, say, like combat to role playing to exploration, stuff like that? Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it a lot like the show so a good balance of fun, exploration combat, you know if you guys get yourselves into a marine headquarters there's gonna be some problems but you also did might you, be did you know that that was a filler arc? yeah yeah yep. I did, I, I love that filler arc actually it was good yeah it's really good it's shocking how good early one piece filler is yeah a lot of the, there's a lot of filler in the like Alabasta Kingdom yeah. Uh, that was incredibly, incredibly good. Yeah, it really was. Honestly, uh, I thought the whole entire uh, them doing the box and thing was filler. But no, that's in the book. Yeah. That's in the you know one thing I wish was filler? The Foxy Pirates. Oh, the Foxy Pirates are the best. The I, love the, I, I love the I love the Foxy guys. Pirates. Yeah, me too. Ugh. Ugh, it's only because my name is Fox do I have issue with them. You don't like the representation of your name in that <laughs> show? Not really, no. Oya, Oya Bean. Oh my god. Um, the slow, slow okay. beam. Ugh. 
N- noro noro. Uh, n- here's a question for you, Box. Is combat uh, d- when you run combat? Is it closer to like D and D combat, or is it more like One Piece combat, where everyone fights their own match? Um, it can vary. Um, there may be group fights, and there may be solo fights. It depends on how the arc's set up and what you guys do. But, but that, like, classic archetype, everyone squares off against, like, yeah, an opponent that's that, almost that designed be, to fight you kind of thing. Like, yeah, that can be in there. That's okay. probably going to be in there. Yeah, uh, during, well, like, uh, an arc that centered around me, which was in the Sky Islands in uh, Dart's game, there was one that was, uh, one person who was my best friend, turned out to be my worst enemy in this, uh, that was designed specifically to combat. Yeah, so essentially, the way darts run it in his games occasionally is that maybe one or two uh, of the crew will square up against one opponent, one or two opponents. It it really varies. But uh, usually they're squaring up and then the the captain goes after the big bad because... That's that's what captains do. Yeah, that's what captains do. Do what you gotta do. There are, there are also group fights, like if there's a bunch of marines and big bads all in the same kind of region, you guys will fight together. Things like that. It just depends on the setup. Okay, cool. Uh, so what, uh, what about the world on the kind of larger scale? Um, we, we talked about this a little bit in chat, because this was something I wanted to know when I was building my character. Uh, but let's talk about like the canon of One Piece versus what we're doing. Ah, okay. Uh, basically this takes place right like during the big time skip in the original One Piece lore, so, um, you know, geez, I don't know how more succinctly I can say it without spoiling things for Alex, but, um, basically it's like at, (laughs) it's at the start of that time skip after Marine Mm -hmm. Ford. Um, It's sort of in that space of time. Uh, can, um, I, and I think you already answered this, but I just guess for everyone now too, uh, can we do things like, for example, is there a chance that we'll encounter characters that we know from One Piece? Yeah, there's a chance. You may fight them. Um, you may defeat them. Essentially. Uh, we, uh, we, we fought some in Dart's game, almost got obliterated because we were also on a clock. Yeah. Um, um like, for example, could we kill Buggy the Clown? You, you can kill Buggy the Clown. Okay. Uh, well, so it won't be exactly... Go ahead. Essentially, it's gonna be... Our timeline starts here, and we're gonna vastly deviate from how One Piece tells its story. Excellent. So. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, because we're in the world now, and the story's about us, not Luffy. So... <laughs> Fuck that. We're the main <laughs> characters, Luffy, not you. Fuck yeah. that rubber guy. Yeah, the rubber um, guy. In this world, Luffy died at a young age. <laughs> oh. Due to all that extreme training that his grandpa may, put him through. I mean, you may meet the Straw Hats, who knows, but... Um, going back to feats, how are you going... Are we going to have uh, moments of training, and if so, how are you going to handle that? Uh, if you have a reasonable amount of downtime, you can get bonuses to ability scores or uh, ranks, uh, skill ranks, skills, and things like that. Uh, you could potentially train into a feat. You could potentially... That would take a lot of downtime, obviously. But uh, if you have substantial amount of downtime, you can get like extra stuff ladled on top of what you'd be at that normal level. If that makes sense Uh, to you, Pete. Um, Yeah, that makes sense. Just extra... Yeah, like... Pete Pete rewards for the way we behave in character. Yeah, kind of. It's basically, if you have to wait a month for a log pose on an island, and you decide to train for that month, you could get a plus one to your strength ability score, depending on what you train, or whatever. And it's permanent. Um, it's it's on it's on you now, that sort of thing. That's pretty big. Yeah, it's pretty big. Uh, continue on with training. One of the things I really do love about One Piece is, uh, I guess, stances or 
modes. Yes. Luffy's a good example of that, how uh, he goes into a mode that has different elements that he gained. Like, in a, will we will we be able to get those, I guess? You know, uh, the problem with the uh, normal stances is you have to use a couple of, uh, a couple of, uh, actions just to turn them on. Like, you have to go into your play dancing stance, you have to go into hockey, and that is like, can we just make a stance that's essentially all those in one? Or, I mean, stances and buffs. Um, to cut down on time. I have to check the action economy. I think going into a stance is a standard action. Stance is a standard. Uh, buffs are no. So it can take a long time, depending on uh, I'd have to check what you're doing. Rules. Um, you'll usually only have a couple stances on up at a time. Hang on, let me check the action economy because it's important. And yeah. I remember buffs and stances are different. Kind of. Um, yeah, that was the thing I was curious about too because there's no action economy listed on the ability, which threw me off. I always actually assumed that there was just no action economy. It's just like at the start of your turn, you can activate a stance or whatever. Oh, um, it's at the very it's beginning. Be beginning. I'll I'll go through them for everyone since. It's just good to know these things. A buff is a temporary or permanent effect which enhances a character in many different ways. Multiple buffs can be on a character at once, unless otherwise specified. So I think for buffs, it's um, it's uh, stated whether it's a standard action or not on the feet. Uh, for crafting, usually done during downtime. Crafting is usually done during downtime, yeah. Uh, tax. How would standard action. how would crafting special weapons like a special katana affect its properties? Uh, I mean, you might get a little plus to its damage or to hit, like magic weapons in D and D. So, like a ten thousand fold blade, for instance. Oh gosh. Weeaboo. You're not going to be able to do that off the bet, you know. I know! This is for I have to look towards the future! Oh, I see. I'm already thinking hockey, Fox. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, Fair I'm, enough. I'm thinking about the hockey, too. Same! God, my will is going to be so bad. Oh, boy. You, you people. You fun friends. I like reading through the disadvantages here to like pick disadvantages to the character. Mm -hmm. And one of the ones they've got listed here is sterile. Like, what? how is that even gonna come into a game? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sex up that lady. Are you gonna get her pregnant? I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> let's, let's keep that out of the stream. Thanks. That's gonna be off screen if anyone is doing anything to anyone. Giddy, giddy, oh, I know. No. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh gosh. Anyway. Just help. These are basically just to like, uh, so long as we're talking disadvantages, to help you flesh out your character more than they are like, uh, or do they have like a mechanical relevance? Um, uh, disadvantages. Oh, they may play a re relevance because um, they may have some relevance because um, um that's a good point, Black Wolf. Uh, uh, Black Wolf is suggesting that sterile, sterile could be related to like a clean freak or something. Yeah, I suppose it could be. Yeah. In considering it's right below like sexually repressed and sexually tantalizing, I doubt that's how they meant it, but <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Don't look too deeply into to a dart. <laughs> Don't look between the lines when there's nothing there. I I would get a pretty good dart on this one because there's also I believe hypochondriac oh as God. a. All right, well let's just glaze over. The... I feel like that's definitely the intent. Yeah, we're gonna but... we're gonna dance over that Hello. fact. What was the me? question again? Can people hear me? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was weird. All sound cut out on my thing for a little bit there. Oh weird. Well, what was the question again? I, I lost um, it. Um. Yes. Uh, my apologies. So. 
Are these mechanically relevant, or are they just to basically help people make interesting characters? Uh, they can be irrelevant, just uh, not super mechanically, but uh, for instance, my character in Dart's game, Wolfric, is directionally challenged, so she has to make wisdom checks, or, you know, navigation checks, to s make sure she knows where she's going. And she's not very good at those. Yeah, she's like, like Zoro about, in that way. I think it is about making uh, interesting characters, but it's also like about making sure that you don't make a perfect character. Uh, so, you know, everything, every one of the characters has some kind of flaw to them, something they have a weakness in. I think that's kind of the idea behind it. Yeah, that okay, seems cool. to be the idea. It's um, more so like flavoring, but the flavor you can ink into uh, yeah. actual gameplay. You can. Or, God damn it. Stop rolling crits. That was my first crit in such a long time. I don't want to hear it from you, Miss Crits, every five seconds. No, that's Nate. Yeah, that's Nate. Nate just. Nate five, just six. throws digital loaded dice. Yeah. So the confirm. The confirm was shitty anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, Nate basically rolled like. God, three or four crits in a row? Not natural 20s, but just crits. And it was... it was a time. But, yes, um, let's see. So, disadvantages to help you make a better character, flawed character, but it can come into play, essentially, if you RP it in. I um, like doing cool stuff like that. Cool. Uh, so the ones that I was thinking were, well, Curse, obviously, is, I think, pretty obvious for my character. Yep. Uh, he gets old, that's his thing. Uh, the other one was Forgotten. Um, because he's lived so long, the people that he cared about, uh, the people that he cared about a while ago have forgotten about him now. Uh, and so he's just kind of like a ghost walking through the world, I feel, in some sense. Sad. Stop making me sad. Um, yeah, uh, he's just kind of like... Uh, and I figure at some point, I thought that would be like a cool toy to just give you. Um, and I figure maybe that could work in some way mm -hmm. um, into my like devil fruit and like how I ended up finding the power or something. I had a very like rough sketch. I figured there was like a few different directions you could go, which were just like he ate it with his life in together and thinking like, ah, well, this is a valuable thing. I'll eat this and then become a, a, an important person in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the other one was. Uh, the other kind of, or two, I suppose, where he ate it not understanding what it was, and then his life fell apart. And then the third option was he was tricked into eating with it by someone who, like, wanted to take over his life or wanted him to fall for some reason. And uh, is now, then he would have, like, maybe some kind of revenge story in there, which I think yeah. could be interesting, it, it too. Could be. A, B, a B plot. Yeah, that's, that's cool. And, of course... I'm going to need all of you to submit your backstories to me. Uh, I don't really care what format it's in. Outlines are fine. Um, bullet points if you want to. Like, fully fleshed out stories if, if you want to do that. I just need your backstory in some shape, way, shape, or form so I can make arcs off of it. Okay. Guess I'll have to work on that at some point. Yeah. Pretty much have a good idea what I think I want my character's backstory to be. Like, I've had something in mind for the last couple of weeks. But I need to, like, flesh it out properly. Well, that's fine. We have... We have... Gosh... Two weeks? Oh, that's 4th of July weekend. But... Yeah, happy, uh... Happy we got rid of the Americans Day. Yeah. And all that. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, America. I suppose. Do, um... Do any of you guys have any kind of, like, rough sketches of what your backstories are? I think Pete wanted to try and work out why you would join the crew, right? Yeah, that's kind of where I'm headed, yeah. Yeah. Um, I kind of have an idea, a, a general idea of what Sonny was, uh, what Sonny's background was. Um, essentially he, he always felt like he, uh, didn't belong where he was born, which I don't know anything about the dwarves, so... So you're, what you're saying is, he really didn't feel like he was much like the other dwarves. Yes, he, he didn't feel like he was much like the other dwarves. Uh, but he, uh... He decided to go off on his own, instead of living with the, the safety of his, um... wherever he 
was born. Yeah, uh, are some of his memories of his homeland from the kind time of fuzzy. now a little bit fuzzy. Yeah, yeah. fuzzy, yeah. Uh, but uh, he, he decided to take boats across the different blues in hopes of uh, maybe finding somewhere he belonged. Um, but his big dream is, unlike the rest of his, uh, the, the members of his society, he wants to create things with his own hand. That's why he's both the chef and the swordsman. Uh, he also has always felt comfortable with a blade in his hand. Um, and because of that, he set out in hopes of making, one day, the very best sword in the whole world. Ah, yes, dreams. We need to, we need to cement everyone's dreams. So... so Pete, Jean's dream is to be important. Is to not have. Not Jean's have... dream is to not have a devil fruit. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Which uh, is, I think, actually, even though, like, I know One Piece dreams, the kind of core idea is that they need to be big dreams. I think, in the context of the One Piece world, that's never happened. Yeah. So I think that is actually a pretty big dream. Fair enough. Uh, Dart, Todd, do your characters have dreams yet? Uh, not yet. I've got a couple in mind, but I haven't decided what, what I want to go with yet. Okay. Uh, I'm still workshopping it, but the basic idea is that she wants to be a a very well known singer. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Like she when she was still with her people, uh, she was like that problem child, the one where everyone was like, "We don't want you around this around this important thing because you have a tendency to fuck up." So uh, she learned to basically sing through music i mean express their feelings through music and uh that still bugged a lot of people because she was bad at it but yeah she just wants to sing make people happy yeah that's that's good that's a nice dream so we got a What's... greatest sword getting rid of a devil fruit and singing to make people happy Odd group, odd flex, but cool. <laughs> I, I was I was gonna ask next alignments. Mm, good. I've been really on the fence on my character's alignment because he's decidedly everything about him kind of screams evil, and I thought making him good in spite of that would be fun. Um, but the if everyone's evil, I would also just make him evil. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm pretty neutral good. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. I've gone with chaotic good. I'm chaotic and neutral. Maybe chaotic good. Yeah, you sound good. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so we got we got a good boy group. I mean, you don't have to be evil. I mean, it, all the check boxes can fit, but you don't have to be. Oh yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. Like, I was gonna do. Um, uh, I was gonna make him neutral good, essentially, uh, and that's why he was like struggling so long to not hurt people with his abilities and worry about that. Um, but if we were going like an evil party, this character could very easily. Uh, fit into that uh, fit into that archetype oh yeah for sure and don't don't worry just because you have a good crew doesn't mean you can't have a psych path on board for some reason <laughs> <laughs> oh yes we had one of those yeah. <laughs> apparently so bitter <laughs> so bitter not that uh, literally any of you know that you have a psychopath on board your crew no we don't it's the worst. Doom might know. Doom might. Wolfric might. I don't know. We haven't gone that far. I think. But anyway, what we're saying is, you know, things could work. You could be a secret marine on a pirate crew. It could work. Don't ask questions. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask questions. You don't, don't want to know the answer to. Oh, man. I need to figure out my feats. I mean, that would yeah, be interesting, especially but. considering one of my character's uh, flaws, so to speak, or just because uh, of background reasons, is hates marines. That is completely refuses to work with or trust to do anything, have anything to do with marines. Oh my. That sounds interesting. Well, mm. um, that might be a problem later. Who knows? Who knows? Yes. <laughs> It'll probably never come up. I assume there'll be no. There's no marines in this game, right? Fox? We're just allowed to sail the seas un, uncontested. Oh, totally. Don't worry about it. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> does uh does anyone here know how old uh dwarfs can live to be? Um, um I the the impression I would get from them is roughly the same as as people. 
but I'll look at the thing and see if there's Oh, dwarves stuff. are a thing that are actually in One Piece? Yeah! yeah, yeah. They're Tontada. Um, the, 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 did, you miss, yeah. did you miss that arc? I think you missed that arc. Did, did you watch the, uh, so. the Dressrosa arc? Uh... Sorry, names mean nothing to me. I'm looking. You I'm would, looking you it would up. know, I think. Yeah, you would. They're like little tiny guys with pointy noses. Well, as far as uh, I'm concerned, he's equivalent to the age, to the human age of 21. So. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's. Actually, I wanted to um. Since we have some idea of what the characters are, um. You guys could like brainstorm how like this like the circum since we're gonna do recruitment arcs. Uh, oh, you mean them? What? Yeah, I remember them now. Oh, them. Sounds like you're talking about aliens or something. Why do you have a full-blown katana? That thing is several times larger than you. Uh, it's actually they're not all that small. They're small, but they're not all that small. Besides, I have the fold fold fruit. I can fit anything I want into my tiny backpack. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, it's, a ba it's a bag of holding. A bag of folding. Oh my bag god! <laughs> it's a bag of folding. <laughs> you two should you're, be ashamed of yourself. You're you're welcome, Alex. <laughs> Thank you. Shame. Shame. Um, Shame upon your cow. <laughs> yeah, so these recruitment arcs, what did you, like, have in mind for recruitment arcs? Uh, well, have you done- did you do these in, like, your campaign? Or? No, we didn't. We skipped over them. Pretty much. They uh, seemed, like, difficult to do, so I didn't do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair uh, enough. Basically, There's I was also the fact that, uh... Sorry, never mind. No, go ahead. I feel like recruitment arcs are cool as a concept, but... There's gonna be a lot of downtime before, I guess, all the players can actually come into the game what i imagine we could do for the um recruitment arcs is instead of having them on you know our streaming days um unless you wanted to stream those as well uh, in which case we could set days outside of those uh that we could get whoever is involved in the in the recruitment arc together to have the maybe one or two uh well however long if you think it might take for the arc i imagine it won't be that long because it's you know you go to an island you meet the person you have a fight with some other people or something like that like normal and then you'd ask them to join your crew <laughs> usually how it happens all in like one episode so i was thinking we could maybe do a wombo combo everyone's on this one island for some reason and um the ensemble recruitment arc yeah the ensemble recruitment arc i was thinking we could do it uh, like that i think that's a great idea um what do you think dart i okay. agree dart what's me yeah cool i can just imagine this old man i'm looking for a crew oh <laughs> it won't be like, it won't be as innocent as that we have to band together to survive because we're stranded on a desert island with no one else around I'll I'll think of like some sort of circumstances, but I'll need some backstories to help help me um, prod me along with that. Yeah, I mean, I figure like at least in my case, I feel like this is just the first place I go after finally deciding to leave my yeah my deserted island and start like, to, right. to become probably uh, king of king the of not the devil not... fruit users. <laughs> king king of the regulars, the normies, and I'm just a wandering bladesmith that could cook. Yeah, it's not... I'm gonna be a normal person. <laughs> I need a ride. It, not it'll... a very ambitious goal when you put it like that. <laughs> but I'll, I'll figure some situations for you guys to find yourselves in. I'll brief you in on all that um, uh, campaign day. Uh, I will try and figure out, essentially, based on kind of your character's personas... And I'll, I'll okay. clear it with you, kind of what circumstances you'd find yourself in. We need to steal a boat. And we're gonna, like, bounce between everyone. Oh, um, can I can I just, uh... Sorry, I'm gonna keep calling you that, even though it's, like, it's completely different. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, yeah. is it alright if I take the knowledge skill, world events? Uh, world events. As a, yeah, just as, an, as a knowledge skill. 
Sure. Like, have knowledge of, you know, what's going on in the world. Yeah, you read the news queue. Yeah. yeah okay. I just want um, to make sure. Yeah, so long as we're talking about that, that was a thing that I imagined that my character would have, which was, like, not knowledge of this generation, but, like, he knows the old pirates. He knows the, he knows, like, the Roger, Whitebeard, uh, Sheiky, Golden Lion generation. Mm -hmm. uh, is it reasonable for me to have knowledge about those crews and, like, have that as a character trait? Uh, because that's, can, like, kind of his generation. You can have that as, like, a secondary skill. Like, you know it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can have that as a secondary skill. Um, I know about I know as, as much about nature as everyone else because I have a minus one to intelligence but a plus one to my knowledge of nature. <laughs> Essentially, um, if you have a good enough backstory reason for it, I'll give you like skills that your character would reasonably have like knowledge. Wouldn't, wouldn't of necessarily have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have a lot of room to customize it though with the the three point oh system. So. Um. Mm. What else? Um, is back. there any? Is there any like? So I've never played this system. Is there any like traps or anything in the design of this system that you'd be like, definitely do this. It doesn't like pan out. This ends up not being fun. These are kind of weak and they don't really deliver on the promise. Like, um, like feet one, wise. Yeah, feet wise, or even like class, or like like for example, like moving to the brawler class. There wasn't a ton of stuff in the brawler class, honestly, that I was like really excited about. I don't know if any of that ends up being, like, oh, really okay. necessary to have. They're really strong. They're so strong. I would They are super strong. <laughs> I, I would recommend um, Flurry of Blows, which I think is a... It's kind flurry of, of Blows is really great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then Greater Flurry of Blows to break it even more. Yeah. yeah. It's basically a big punchy, multi-punchy attack. Uh, uh, gummo Gummo no Gatling. Yeah. Pretty, Pretty much, so. yeah. Um, that's, that's the One Piece way, is... A, Player. I, I mean, I, I heard that like the swordsman's class is a bit underpowered. Um, obviously, we don't have a swordsman in our other game. I don't really know. We haven't really come across it, but yeah. I, I heard that that one's a little bit underpowered. Uh, and we'll address it as it comes to it. We can give feats. Yeah. Points. I mean, at our discretion, you can get like. That's that's also why I kind of chose to, uh, like, I, I didn't see anything that blew me away in the swordsman class, but I also chose chef because of all the buffs that you get for being a chef that you can do to yourself or give to other people as well. So I'm hoping the two combined will make something that's good. <laughs> I'm sure, like, being a swordsman will be much better also when you're crafting yourself righteous swords with your full That's fruit. true, yeah. yeah. Um, cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, any more questions? Uh... In, in terms of rare items in game, um... Like devil these, fruits? Well, yes, like devil fruits or special, like, uh, the, the legendary katanas, for instance. Uh, are those things that we can expect to find randomly in the game? You might find them randomly in a shop if you use your appraisal skill. I mean, these things can be lying around anywhere, and there could be a chance that they're there. Uh, well, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. I, I got confused for a second. At level one, Dunstan Duke, who is the name of the character I'm making, by the way, if you haven't noticed, uh, has already got an appraisal skill of five, so just ask him. It'll be great, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh, I know that sword! That's like that legendary sh sword! <laughs> it's... it's... Rolls a the one, that's just some letter cutter. By the way, did you say it. your character's name is Dunstan Duke? Yep. What a fucking awesome name. <laughs> that is a pretty damn good name, I gotta say. Yeah. So we got Black Crow, Millie, Dunstan Duke, Jean, and Sunny Days. Uh, let me, uh, let me throw on my... Uh... Let me throw in my tentative Paul's grave. I, I must say though, these are some pretty good, pretty good names. Uh, the gene, the pick for Gene was because I just picked the closest thing I could to a lich without having my first name be Lich, which was a genie. Ah uh ha! -huh. <laughs> there it That's is. That's true. That's true. You could have done uh, Luke, I guess. Could have. Yeah. Luke would have been pretty good. Uh, I was going through like some famous pirate names, by the way, and so many of them are characters in One Piece. Yeah, I'm not are. shocked. 
Neither um, am I. I mean, obviously, like Blackbeard and stuff, but also Kid, like, Captain Kid. Yep, Kid, uh, Bonnie, Bellamy, uh, Bellamy too. Yep, good uh, Lord. Drake. Real? Oh, God. yep. Morgan's a good name. Uh, I mean, Maddie. of course, Morgan. Yeah. Of course, Morgan. Yeah, Captain Morgan. I think is like the first enemy they encounter. I think Captain Morgan was a marine, actually. Yep, kind he was. Of. Kind of. Uh, he was like a corrupt marine. Yeah, yeah, a corrupt marine that kind of became an outlaw, that kind of became a pirate. Did he become a pirate? Yeah, no, I think I, he just got arrested. Yeah. I was seriously considering naming my character Gene Morgan, and then I realized that I would be Captain Morgan, and that there was also a Morgan. <laughs> Captain Morgan. <laughs> yeah. The perfect oh. delicious rum drink. Oh, oh boy. At least you're not Captain Full Body. I don't want a weird name. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Pete Full Body. <laughs> uh, I, have yes. a, I have a full body. Yeah, you um, get you get all, the full package with Pete here. Yep, that's that's what I'm delivering. Uh, <laughs> what else? Um, fuck. Is there anything else you can like tell us about our world or our starting location or kind uh, of like I'm... what your plans for the game are? You're not starting in the East Blue. Um. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, I might start you off in the South, West, or North Blues, depending on which one you guys want to play it, play around in. Any preference? Do you have a preference, Fox? Is there one that you're like hoping that we would pick no. secretly in your heart? No. Oh, okay. I can put anything in the blues. It's just a matter of oh. like. Well, there's like, like a South, flavor to it. There's like South Blues, the most dangerous of the blues, I think. Um, East Blues, thought, the weakest. I thought it was North Blue. No, I, vote, I vote South Blue is the most dangerous of the blues. Yeah. I vote that one. Yeah, let's go to that one. Let's bring just us, be the yeah, danger bring us, crew. Bring us to the scary blue. <laughs> okay, cool. Surrounded by gangs and pirates and shit, and we're just like, hey, what's up? Yeah, possibly go wrong. Yeah. Alright, so South Blue. Um. Uh, geez, can you elaborate more on your question, Pete? Um, yeah, um... Is there any information you can tell us about, like, what we're going to be doing in the campaign? Uh, like, other than, like, going out and being pirates? Like, um, like any of the kind of, like, maybe, like, the circumstances of our meeting, which I know you need to think about a little bit more, but, yeah. like... And yeah, do need like, to think about that. For example, like, what kind of, like, structures... Are, is it going to be, like, a very, like, villain-centric structure? Um, where we're going to be, like, encountering, like, stuff like that? Uh, well, there will... Oof, okay. So, what I have in mind for uh, the first arc, or the recruitment arc, is really just getting you all together, kind of pigeoning you guys into into being a crew really quickly. Fair enough. Um, there probably the D &D won't, way. There probably won't be a major villain in that arc, and then you guys will be, possibly, the next session will be your ship stealing slash buying arc. Uh, depending on if you don't already have a ship. We're probably going to level up quite quickly, considering we're starting at level 1. Potentially. Uh, but uh. from there, you'll probably have an arc where there's a villain that you either defeat or deal with in some way. I can't okay. force you to stay on an island in the... <laughs> in the blues uh, but... but you can well that's one of the things about the grand line is it is actually a line <laughs> like, yeah and i can force uh, it you is to a stay railroad. on an island it is a railroad <laughs> yeah um uh but pretty much the blues are you can bounce around to different islands you can it'll be up to you once you have a ship um the more explorey kind of part of the game and then once it's the grand line it's the the mad dash for yeah, uh, whatever world. the name of, I can't remember the name of the island at the end of it. Saba Odi or Roanoke, whatever it's called. No, the, the 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 real one at the end of it. Raftal. Raftal, yeah. Yeah, Raftal. Yeah. Then the Mad Dash for Raftal. So, uh, it's up to you when you want to leave the blue. I would just give me a heads up on like what you want to do before the game starts, so I can figure it out. Cool. Uh, it'll be a bit. So if you're like, I want to go back to this island, or I want to go to this island again, things like that. 
So, I mean, I probably should have asked this earlier. We are starting at level one, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. Uh, is there any, like, world elements that you're adding that are decidedly, like, different than or, like, out of the canon of One Piece? Like, for example, like, in this One Piece timeline, mm -hmm. all of the oceans are red, which is a dumb example, but anything like that. Um, there might be different warlords, and there might be different... Or, what are they called? Yonkos. Yonkos, yeah. Emperors, whatever you, you want to call them. Shibukai? Shibukai? Is that what they're called? Sichibukai, yeah. Yeah, I see. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna back. call them warlords and emperors because that's easiest for me. <laughs> or Yonko. You might hear Yonko from me. <laughs> um, in that regard, then, is it safe to assume also that you'll probably do different, like, admirals and stuff? Yeah. You might see some of the same uh, admirals. You, you'll you see... You might see some canon characters, like I said. You, you'll see a lot of my, custom ones, too. My, my boy Aokiji. Yeah, your boy Aokiji. He might be around. Like, what, a, oh, yeah. what a good character. Uh, hey, what's everyone's favorite One Piece character? Uh, just, just curious. Like Brooke, I, uh, I like I, uh, Mario, Kiko Mario, personally. I really like Frankie. I'm but... very partial to Brooke. Frankie's Love a close me. second, but Brooke. Yeah. Mm, I wonder why perverted dwarf. There's a lot of characters I Would like. Would you mind showing me your panties? Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> mine he's, he's is... not being a creep, it's a thing that's actually said in the show. Yeah. It's like a real thing. Yeah. So, it's so weird. It's so weird. Um, it's my... a consistent thing that he does in the manga. And it's an ongoing I... bit. <laughs> I hate that bit. The crew already has one pervert. They don't need more. And that's my favorite character. I like Sanji. Is Sanji really a per? I guess he is. Yes. Yeah. I, he's the OG, are you kidding me? Yeah. I, I saw him as more of a Brock, but now that I think about it, he is. Uh, he start, well, he started out that way, and then he got heavily corrupted. Yeah. And then, um... Jeez, heavily corrupted. <laughs> he had to Rough. deal with some stuff. Um, me, for me, I think it's Zoro. I just kind of love how stupid he is sometimes, and how he gets lost. But how you can depend on him, so... That's probably me. Uh, and then non-crew, I was always a big Doflamingo fan. I, I still haven't seen enough of him. I, I want to see more. I like... Don Flamingo is probably a great villain. He really is. Yeah. Um... Croc Crocodile too. Shit, I also oh, really yeah, like Crocodile. Crocodile's my dude. I never liked Crocodile, to be honest. Really? Like, yeah, I, I don't know. You just never clicked with me. I, like, I thought he was um, the like the most well written villain of the show. I like Garp. I, go, I like Garp a lot. I Garp's good too. There's a great show. Uh, for anyone who hasn't watched One Piece that's watching the stream right now, I highly recommend you go out and watch all the whole, ten years of One Piece. Probably. Watch all one thousand ish episodes. <laughs> good lord! You know the English um, dub has only just gotten to the time skip. Uh, so I know we're also keeping character sheets on here, but mm -hmm. can we also, do you mind if I like, like how important is this character sheet? Because I would like to also just write a handwritten character sheet. Oh, uh, for my reference? Yeah. Do you want like this one actively filled out as well? Uh, I would like it just in the event that you might not be able to make it. Okay. Uh, also, uh, we use a lot of macros in the character sheet, so... Yeah. There's that. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you through all the technical stuff if you have questions about that. It's not too Good. bad, but it can be a little nasty. Um, yeah, this this character sheet's just a little funk. Like, because I was looking at, like, the actual One Piece character sheet, which obviously it's designed for it, so it works really well for it, but yeah. it was just so much, so much neater in some senses. But, yep, yeah. I'll also make sure that this one is filled out. Okay, cool. Thanks. Um... um that's true. Though... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Does anybody know off the top of their head what is our favorite primary skills and secondary skills? The modifier, I mean. Because, like, uh, uh, before I have to go searching for it. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I think it's just at level one. At level yeah. one. Yeah. It's four it was... for primary, one for a secondary. Is it... What about, like, what about favored secondary skills? Is it the same? Yeah. yeah. It's basically favored and non favored. Favor is usually. Always the same thing, and non-favorites are always usually the same thing. 
Yeah, at level one for favorite skills, primary or secondary, either one. It's a uh, four, and every level up that you add a plus one to each level. For secondary skills, it starts at one, and then it two, and then every even level you add a third rank. Okay. Um, is initiative just that? Is there any it's other? It's a primary skill. It's a primary yeah. Skill. Is there anything else in which no, 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 no. is relevant? Uh, sorry, Jim. Rolling to go first. No, is rank four for secondary skills for favorite secondary skills as well? Yeah, that's what we said. Favorite, yeah, it only matters with favorite and non-favorite primary. So yeah, or... so favorite primary skills and secondary skills both start rank four, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Primary skills are. Basically, the big ones, the attack, the initiative, the the really heavy-hitting mechanical ones. How you do damage, how you avoid damage, what order you oh. go in, that sort of thing. I, I was basically going to take an arm strike and then all of the saves was my plan. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, initiative is the thing. You, you'll get your non-favored boost to it, but that's about it. Um, cool. And I cool. think uh, Dex factors factors into Dex too. For an initiative. Yeah. I think it's either Dex or Int, whatever's highest. Yeah, it's Dex or Int, whatever's highest. Uh, yeah, I actually, that's some, those are mechanics that I like. Um, I like some of like the two, two the two skills that are relevant both apply. Uh, there are places that um, there are places in Five E where they could have done that, i.e., Intimidation. Yeah. Uh, where where strength or charisma for intimidation would have made more sense. Yeah, and I'll allow like things like that. Like if you're trying to intimidate someone and you have a crappy uh, charisma modifier, you can use strength as long as you flavor it as strength. You know. Yeah. Like you you tear a phone book in half. I don't know. Yeah, crush a watermelon <laughs> in your bicep with you. Yeah, between your thighs. Yeah, between your thighs. There you go. Aesthetically, I want to use katanas, but I need like a strength 14, and those ability points can be put elsewhere. Um, uh, so, like, uh, ability wise, like, I'm personally just going to be building strength and health. I've built my devil fruit power around absorbing other people's strength and health. Uh, so, I'm just going to punch with a lot of big multi with a lot of big uh, bonuses to it. Yep, that sounds about right. Um, the only thing you'll want to watch out for is you'll really need to plan for your prestige stuff. Um, it's like yeah, you know, that's that's one of the things I almost didn't like about this system was how much you need to know exactly what you're going to do as you move down the line because yeah. you have to like keep so much room for specific stuff. I don't think fair, it's that bad. To be fair, I mean, you it's... have a lot of options on which way you can go, but. Yeah, you um, need to have, like, a plan in place to make sure you get everything you need. I mean, that's essentially just making a character build. Yeah, I just, I usually like to, like, adapt to what's kind of coming at me in the world, uh, and kind of build my character in that regard. Um, but here I feel like, if, like, for example, there are things that, like, I know as a player I want to do. Like, I want to have hockey someday, and if you want to have hockey, you kind of have to, like, tech in certain ways early on and like stuff like that so it's yeah, just uh that's, that's the only downside of this system but i also kind of like that at the same time it's it's a pro and a con all at once yeah yeah there's definitely cool things about it too yeah <clears throat> um and i feel like with the secondary skills uh what you choose also is going to flavor how your character is going to be Especially with 3.0, you don't have to. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have all the skills from your class and career. You you have 15 to choose from, which you can choose from your class and career, but you don't have to stick with those. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, like a warrior could become something like a brigand, which you'd expect a rogue to be or something. You know, as long as there are like specializations, like maestro is only for musicians. Surgeon. And then like. Is kind of group sorry sorry yeah like surgeons only for doctors that kind of deal butchers only for chefs yeah but there are generic ones too um, 
the vibe that I got also was like, um, you can kind of just make your own if you want. Like at least in third edition, it seemed to be encouraging you less to use the ones that exist and more to uh, create your own prestige class because it only gave the one, the Roku Shiki uh, Master. That was the only one that had any edits. Yeah, I think that was the only oh. one that had any updates. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, there's more like in the uh, two point zero one document. Yeah. Okay, because I'll say if you have a pre prestige class in mind, which isn't on the list below, be sure to let your DM know early so they can help create a custom one for you. Uh, we um, could potentially do that if you wanted to. If none yeah, of the, I, I, if none of the things suit your flavor. Yeah, I had um, I wanted to play kind of like a, uh, the name I was running around in my head was Juggernaut. Okay, we might be able to retool one of the existing ones to just yeah. get a better idea. Like, there's a guardian for, I think, the warrior. We could probably do something similar. We'll play around with it a bit. Cool. Yeah. Um, anything else? I'm good, actually. I think I think that's all for me. All right. I'm, I'm sure I'll have more that I'll realize immediately after, and I'll message you, but... Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I don't have any questions so much as a comment about how I don't know if you guys have any skills any uh, uh, rank in intimidate but the tiny one does and that's gonna be hard to <laughs> to, uh, to to role play to a point because I've got to be this high pitched hyperactive easy to get angry character. Who has Intimidate uh, at level 1 of a I'm plus sure, 6. I'm sure if you swing out your massive katana when you're a tiny person, that'll yeah, scare Yeah, just you. suddenly I bring out of my bag a katana that's full size that just unfolds. Yeah, it's like a switchblade. Are you a Strength Swords I'm, or a Dex Swords? Sounds I'm like a strength, strength Swords. swords. <laughs> yeah, it's excellent. I mean, it would be pretty terrifying, to be honest. I mean, how do you even hit that? <laughs> right? <laughs> It's gotta be hard to, to deal with. Yeah. Well, if that's all, um, uh, we've been on for about two hours, so unless anyone has... Um, I have a question, I just realized. Oh yes, go ahead. Uh, what time are we going to be starting, and uh, how long do you intend for sessions to generally go? Um, anywhere from... What time are we going to be starting? 7.30 CST, or CDT, depending on the light savings time. Okay. Uh, it'll change with the daylight saving time. But it, essentially 7.30 p.m. Every Thursday, or every other Thursday. Yes. Uh, and what? Uh, how long do you think sessions will go? Uh... I would like it them to go for around three hours, but they could be shorter. It just really depends on when we reach a good stopping point. So generally assume 7.30 to 10.30? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I can I can do that. No problem. Just wanted to check in. Yep, because I may, you know, I, I want to sleep at some point in the night. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I also like I like I like week. like kind of having an expectation of like a cutoff time. So. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Uh, I think I'm good. Okay. Oh, currently, get ready for One Piece shenanigans. Uh, do we have any other oh, yeah. any homework? You have any homework? You want us to do our uh, backstories? Uh, and I mean, obviously, build the character sheets. Anything else that we need uh, to do? Backstories. Um. Any NPCs? Just give me a bunch of... I hate to use this term, but give me a bunch of knives that I can assort from. Uh, well, if, you, if you have... I don't know if we should be giving foxes knives. Uh, which, of course, I mean by, like, character hooks. Like, oh, yeah, I had a family. They're doing things, maybe. Or, yeah, I knew this guy once. He was a marine, or things like that. My father, he died at your hands. You killed my father. Um, Prepare um, to die. die. Yes, exactly. Uh, I think There's I have a... some like fun Edmund Dante stuff I can do with this character that I, I might fuck with a little bit, so I'll come up with some guys. I guess how detailed do you want it to be? Or how and how long? You want the backstory? She's not like, here to read novels. <laughs> yeah, like I said. Uh... I don't think I can write a novel even if I wanted to. 
It could be uh, outlines, bullet points. Just give me the basics. Give me something to work with for plot. Uh, there is one thing I would like uh, to say, though. Uh, hey, Fox. You're going to have to announce this stream on more than just your channel. Yeah, I know. Do it on your uh, Twitter, your Facebooks. <laughs> I'll well, not just that. I, I mean, like, on... Uh, on... Hop on to D&D time. Yeah, D&D &D time on, or Maddie uh, Morks. Yeah, yeah, both of those channels I'm sure would be happy if you used our both of our respective self-promotion sections <laughs> to promote yourself. Uh, <laughs> Maddie, uh, this will be like PG-13. It'll generally stay within the spirit of the show. Yes, essentially we get the HBO one fuck a, uh, a, a session. I've said, I've said fuck a whole bunch of times. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have to <laughs> dial that back. I will also have to dial that back, especially since I feel like as soon, I mean, Sunny, uh, is not one that curses too much. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, as, as someone who, who's used to swearing like every second sentence, that is going to be pretty difficult. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I mean, your goddamns, your dams, your shits, those are okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so my... I, ass I assume that, I mean, beyond just for the sake of the stream, but just more as, like, playing together, we're just going to avoid any, like, thing that would be considered intolerant, sexist, sexism, racist. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure no one here is sexist, racist, homophobic, etc. But yeah. if you are, keep it to yourself. <laughs> yeah, I figured, like, it was mostly for, let's not go in deeply into sex, or sex scene, you know, that yeah, kind of junk. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's that's a, a good point. Uh, and I assume that's the page that you're on, Fox. Like, needless, uh... Needless, uh, quote-unquote, mature detail. Yeah. Let's let's try to stay within the realm of friendliness. I mean, it's I think, one piece, you know? Yeah, it's I think one uh, piece. even in our game, we're, we're pretty, if it, uh... If it had happened in legit. one piece, you can do it. Yeah, if, if you can see this legitimately, actually, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not, because people can get cut in half in, in one piece. Well, I feel uh, like so that's fine. I'm talking about just some of the, like, the kind of creepy shit that happens in one piece. There's some of that. Yeah, like Brooke. Half yeah. Time. Yeah. Okay, maybe not. Keep it within, like, the European-American sensibilities of okay. Not Japanese. Oh, so we should not just full on, uh... For kids, but. Yeah, four kids dubbed this. My name yeah, is. Yeah, definitely. My name is Zoldo. Going to be smoking a lollipop <laughs> from now on. I yes. love. I honestly love that aesthetic because I just uh, watched four kids any first. Text, even if it's in, already in English. Yes, uh, and we're gonna uh, say fork and shorts for everything. Yep. We shall refer to uh, rice balls as donuts from now on. Jelly filled donuts. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and uh, God, what else? I thought those were jelly donuts my entire childhood, childhood, and I was so disappointed when I found out. America lied to you, son. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. We're we're gonna play the uh, rap version to begin all yes! the sessions. The rap may be playing. It's very quiet. I hear it, it. Is, but I love it. It just <laughs> reminded me what I um, wanted to say. So yeah, I think I'm all set. Unless anyone else has any questions. I am I also good for now. Yeah, I'm good. I need to actually sort out my character sheet, but other than that, I'm good. So I could just tap on your shoulder if I need to ask you something. <laughs> so fuck, sure. just wanna wrap us up? Oh, yes. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, I have do. I do have one question. Do sure. you want to hand my dough fruit, or do you want me to write something up and then hand, hand it to you? What are you talking about? Uh, dough fruit stuff. Since uh, I'm... Yeah, I, 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 need, I need to approve it. Cool beans. Alright. So, next time on One Piece, we'll begin with. God, I can't keep a straight face, but I'll try. Next time on One Piece, our heroes will set off on their journey for the first time. What kind of stru stuff will they get into? Only I have not figured that out yet. So. I'll see you all then. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.